Right, we're on. Watch this. Being able to reproduce an action that sustains compression and straightens ball flight is every golfer's dream. Hitting the golf ball from such an open stance has given the player freedom and flow through impact. Golfers that have never been able to hit a draw are now doing so. The slicers of the golf ball who have reduced their slice or even removed it altogether. Feedback from all over the world, the 52 countries in which we now have site members in, actively golfers playing the game, Eureka style, in 24 countries is fantastic. Um, it's going from strength to strength, it's getting stronger and stronger. There's a community of Eureka golfers now who are chatting to me on a daily basis, which is a busy, busy time for me, which is fantastic. However, to see golfers improve and to hear the feedback how slice has been reduced and draw has been introduced to their game is just staggering as far as I'm concerned. Once you know how the motion in full works, then it'll completely transform your golf game. Many golfers have mentioned that they feel it left side dominant. So from the top of the swing, the left side pulling towards target is a sensation they feel. Everyone feels something slightly different up the top and pulling of the left side, which gets the body to drop the hands behind and get that into out path. Other golfers have mentioned that they can visualize the degree the golf club goes back. So this is 12.2 degrees between red cane and white cane. So being able to visualize a 12.2 inside path on the way back, knowing there's room for a slight over the top because of the change of shift is giving them the draw that Eureka's been producing for them. Other players feel the change of shift as the club comes back. It's a single shift, so the club comes back on, a, on the hand plane and then moves up to the turned right shoulder plane and comes back down the turned shoulder plane. So there's a little element of over the top still allowing you to be able to hit draw because we're taking it back 12.2, yet this ball is eight centimeters inside that line. So therefore that's 10.2, so there's room for maneuver. So come back up with the hands to the shoulder turn and then let the left side be dominant. Other players are purely feeling what happens with the right hand, how the right hand connects with the right hip on the way down because the body's open When the body opens up. The right hand and right elbow create that relationship with the right hip. So up to the top and that relationship's created on the way down. So we're there. Good, that was a good one. That for me is quite a good feeling because the right arm being a power source, bending and straightening, I can feel how the right arm comes down to meet the right hip because my body started off in an open position as it comes through impact. The right hip's going out towards the golf ball and the right elbow's coming down to meet it. So therefore we've got some form of relationship. It's going to allow the club to drop inside a little bit more to allow for the 10.2. And the 12.2, adhering to red cane, up to the top, body opens up to the feet line as the back of the left hand controls club face, sustaining compression towards target using the white cane in the middle. Quite a few folk have mentioned that actually, that the back of the left hand being released towards target for longer than normal is a sensation that is really creating a straighter ball flight. As I say, slicers are slicing less and they're even able to produce draw. We've had our first recorded hole in one as well. A chap by the name of Chuck Shoot in North Carolina, rally, and his first Eureka hole in one. Understanding lag's going to happen because the body opens up. Again, that's encouraging the hands and the right hip to speak to each other because the body's open before the club's got in line with the golf ball or in contact with the golf ball. The only thing behind the golf ball at impact or the sensation of the only thing behind the golf ball at impact, right shoulder, right foot, that action, there, 
is just absolutely pure. The face can stay squarer for longer. Shortens the swing because the feet are open. Flattens the swing because the feet are open. And of course the short shaping. People have mentioned short shaping how it's a dead simple three ball drill. By moving the ball position we can shape the shot. They moved up the target line, but we know what we're adhering to to allow this to happen, to allow the fade. All different shot shapes from the one swing. Some Eureka golfers have mentioned that strengthening their grip on the golf club by moving their hands around to the right hand side for a right handed golfer has helped with the draw. Of course that's going to happen. I keep mine, personally keep mine more neutral and they're more passive through impact. I'm taking the club back at 12.2 degrees, but the body's doing the thing. The body's speaking louder than the hands. So nice and passive through impact, like so, and none of this. Much more passive. There's a roll, of course. It's going to happen. Centripetal force is pulling that club away from me. And it's going to roll back around me, but the body's turn first. So I don't personally strengthen the grip, but I can see why people have had more success with that. Or have had some form of success with that, but again, it's a personal feeling for the player. Up to the top, it's flatter. My weight's left, as we know, the weight's coming left. The body opens up, so the hands are much more passive through impact from the neutral grip. Paths in to out, body rotating, connection between right hip and hands as I keep them nice and passive. As long as the body opens up, I kind of feel as though. I lose the hands a little bit behind me, so the hands are here somewhere, but it's going to happen. But it's pivot driven. The body opening up, as I say, is speaking louder than the hands. Neutral position, grip, weight left. Let that body open up to target line. The back of the left hand and the club face for me are sustaining that line of compression for longer. Draw. Quite a lot of golfers have mentioned that the distances are now changing so we're hitting the ball further. Well, that's, that's obviously going to happen because we're hitting the club, the ball with a closing club face or a squarer face to our intended target. There's less shear, less slice across the golf ball. And that's purely because it's pivot driven. So of course you're going to get a stronger ball flight from this. But we're not swinging any harder or any faster, we're just allowing it all to happen. Eureka style. For some the initiation of the left knee is the start of the downswing up to the top left knee externally rotating and of course that action leaves the hands behind so external rotation it's a lateral rotation so up to the top the weight's moving left and turning at the same time because the focus is on the left knee that triggers many golfers downswings with Eureka there's been a lot of emails about that dress position Left wrist's flat, open the left knee up, and for some people that's all it takes. Just that simple swing thought, that start of the downswing. Does my right hand and right arm come close to my right hip? Well of course if the body opens that's going to happen. If the left knee extends rotates as my body has a lateral rotation, all that's going to fall into place. Because we're adhering to the canes, that's all we're doing is adhering to the canes that we've set up correctly. I'm set. In good position, left knee extended rotates, which leaves everything behind me, and I can hit draw from there. Fantastic. If you've tried Eureka Golf Swing, please leave comments below. If you've not, go to eurekagolfswing.com, everything's in there. It'll tell you exactly what to do. There's the iron swing series, the driver swing series, and the shot shaping and ball position series. There's also, we're now at this stage, that other golf coaches have contacted me to become authorised swing instructors of the Eureka Golf Swing. Oof. Wow then.